Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. Today, we're going to try some challenges. Do we? Do we really? Yeah, let's start with... Start with a fun one, I think. Have a heart. So, Curse of the... Er, Kiss of the Vampire, I think it's called. To Mom's Heart. Starting off, I think it's Isaac? Not entirely sure. Um, and we only have one heart, and we will only stay with one heart unless we kill people with Curse of the Vampire. Ooh, we're down to half a heart already. Alright, so we might die. I'll be 100% honest. Oh, it's a risk I'm willing to take. So what do we want? We want luck ups, honestly. Scatter bombs, not 100% useful. Can't be here because this is skinny room. Okay. I don't think hearts can drop either. So that'll be interesting to see. There is a spirit rock right there. Or, uh, tinted. We did get some points. Blue hearts are useless. Keys are nice. Here. Guppy spawn. Does this work? It does. So let's get some hearts. Um, probably went way harder than I needed to, but I'd rather do it this way. Guppy's Paul might make this challenge way too easy, but oh well. And technically, I think we only need five hearts. Maybe less than that, even. Oh, got hit. Gosh darn it. Come on, die. Okay, last one. Spirit Heart HP up. HP up, not too useful, but we'll take it. Alright. We should be able to get our deal with the devil here. Gonna hide over here. I think that's far enough. Yep, matchstick is a good thing. Spirit Heart I can't use, but that's fine, technically. Oh, got hit, but it's fine. Alright, I don't really know. We're taking now, I guess. We want damage more than anything. I think Guppy's Paws is going to let us be able to clear this, because if I absolutely need to, I have a lot of hearts that I can get. Another useful item, although I don't know if it exists in this challenge, is the um, Bloody Penny. Bloody Penny would make this pretty simple. Chemical Peel, damage upgrade, I'll take. Uh, looking for the boss fight. Don't have enough money to go to the shop. Even if we did, we don't need a spirit heart since we can make our own. Uh, I guess we try here. 
Not there. So, if I had to guess, maybe over here. No, can't be there. Okay, I should have known that. Where it could be is down, actually. So, that was right. Wait for the scatter bombs to go away. In here. Uh, we'll try the gold chest, of course. Do we go for a shop? Okay. Wasn't sure if that was actually a bomb or if it was a um, troll bomb. We're going to try for the shop. Oh. Spider mod. It's decent. It's not great, but I'll probably take it if I get the money. Ooh, this could be very, very useful room. The Laos? I'm out of keys. <laughs> uh, a trinket from the gold chest. Not great. Uh, come on, die. Okay. Yeah, trinket from the gold chest. Not sure how good that is, but... I think there was a key in our shop. We're not going to use it if there was. We're going to actually take it to the next floor. There was. We're going to grab this. Since there's no donation machine on challenges, I feel confident in continuing on. Well, we immediately pop the devil. Monstro is kind of easy to be popping the devil on, but it lets me get through this battle faster at this point. I'll take it. Oh, goodness. Come on, die. Laos, helping us out right before we get hit. Okay, deal with the devil. Yep, we will take Mr. Dolly. We'll take one black heart. Uh, we will take Little Brim and pay for you. Well, that's the last one, man. Shoot. Well, we'll take Guppy's head. Um, I know what you're thinking, and I agree. That's a pretty good use. We probably could have gone harder on the other guy, but little brim, two thirds of the way to guppy. If we get nine lives, we'd be in good shape and would probably actually want the ball. Okay, I don't think we want the shop. Bursting sack. I think that's like every time I get hit, I have the chance to get spiders or something similar. Okay. Forgive me if I'm still having technical issues. I'm seeing it be a little slow right now. Um, I'm not actually sure if it is or it's just my mind you know, thinking it is. Alright. I know these aren't supposed to be speed runs, but we're just going to act like they are for now and just go through it as quick as possible. We did get our item room. It was Bursting Sack, so we can leave this floor. Which I'll be happy to do since this is a challenge. Uh, Guppy's Paw. Extremely good pickup. If we could pick up nine lives, like I was saying, Guppy's tail, that'd be extremely good too. Pick up a range upgrade. I think we just go to the next floor. I don't think we want to backtrack to see if there's a curse room. There might be. 
And I realized I said mom. It's mom's uh, heart, actually. Hmm. Okay. We'll go to the curse room. Might as well. Yeah, I'd say this is worth it. Even if it might not be. Card is... Stars. We'll pop it now. The Ankh makes me blue baby if I die? I believe. That's how that works. Um, Another penny takes me to seven cents. Do we go to our shop? Oof. You got me. Come on, little brim. We'll double pop. We might as well go to our shop, honestly. Hill is... Pheromones. Not great. Shop is greed. Hello, greed. Steam sale would be nice, actually. Not steam sale. Enough money to make our shop useless, or useful on next floor. Not useless. Okay, another penny. Pick it up. Alright. Some damage I'm not very proud of. Not much I can do about that, unfortunately. <laughs> that was great. A little brimstone. Good job. Keep the good work. Would still like more damage, I'll be honest with you. But our current level of damage is at least uh, workable. I think we do use a bomb here. We might get champion belt next floor. And I'd say that'd be pretty worth it for a bomb for more damage. More flies. Alright. Let's go fight the next boss. Gertie. Champion Gertie, is it? Nope, not Champion Gertie. Oof. Little Brimstone, pretty good. We'll take Placenta. Uh, in here, we take Rotten Baby. Ceremonial robes. And of course we do pick up the contract from below. Alright. More damage. A fly guy. Um, We still have Guppy's head. Not worth going north I'd say. Not yet. Spirit heart is nice. Sin robes is probably one of the better items I could have hoped for. Honestly. And there is a tinted rock up here. Gave me enough keys. Can't pick up that heart. Gave me enough keys for both the shop and the item room on this floor. Pill is speed up. That's nice. Okay. Item rumor shop, please. I will go looking for both on this floor if I have to. I'd rather not, but if I do, I do. So. Is this an XL? No, one of those is a library. Huh. That's nice to know. We'll take both just to keep them from reappearing. 
pop Book of Sin. We'll use How to Jump to get over there quicker. And Guppy's Head, of course, we're going to be rolling with. We'll take both keys. Contract from below. Such a good pickup. In here. Not another greed fight, so we'll pick a fanny pack. Not the best item, but if we get hit a lot, which I like to do, it's useful. We do have boss rush, actually. Okay. It's a pretty good item, but I can't justify it. The prayer card, though. It's one of the better items, I'd say. Even though its usefulness per floor is pretty useless. But through the game, it could be very good. It basically guarantees you could take a deal with the devil for one heart every time. Regardless of if you get HP, because you're going to get it next floor. A Lust Fight. Not a syringe, which I was kind of hoping for, to be honest. Luck down. Ouch. Okay... Two more keys on a f room that already has two keys. Let's come over here. Goat head. Pretty good, actually. I wasn't going to do it, but knowing that goat head could appear is always a good thing. So can uh, head of the keeper. I'm trying to think of what else. One more. No. Okay, this should be it. Got Guppy's head. Enough money to make our next shop worth it. And unfortunately, we do have to go through that big room. It's a bunch of dingles. A champion. Uh, maybe a champion dingle? I don't know if that's a different name. Rotten Baby with the air support is always nice. Okay. Not the right way. More heal sounds like from Curse of the Vampire. We'll take a full heart now. Not the best move, probably. Honestly, it's probably a pretty bad move to take it then, but... Oh, well. Especially since we're not going to be rolling with, um, prayer card. It's still pretty good, I'd say. Alrighty. He's dead. Moving on. Boss fight. Did we find our item room? Yep, that was prayer card. Wait for brimstone to be charged. Alright, gish means guaranteed little gish not a bad guy gish or little gish oh come on brimstone is helping our damage isn't bad it's just not very good I'm sure you're thinking, well, what's the difference? Well, I mean, we could have worse damage. We could be doing soy milk damage here. We'll take Gish, of course. Little Gish, of course. And in here, we'll take the mark. It's an extra spirit heart and damage. So, our damage is getting a little bit more respectable. And we got a mom fight this floor where there's also an arcade. We'll try the arcade. Another room. I think that's all that would appear. Ooh, Euphoria is pretty good. I didn't know Euphoria could appear in these rooms. So Euphoria makes your more tiers. Gives you a tiers up as long as you're shooting in the same direction. So we're going to try not to shoot in another direction. See? So you can get to um, soy milk levels of shot, the speeds, 
just if you keep shooting. Apparently it does reset if you take damage though, which is interesting. Luck up penny is pretty good. Okay. I think that's our shop. Doubt it's another library, but you never know. So we don't want it to be greed, <laughs> which is a possibility. This is a library. We'll take the Bible. We'll take Anarchist Cookbook. With Goat Head now, we have guaranteed deals with the devil. So, Prayer Card would have been good, but it's still not necessary. Next two floors might prove that to be different, but... We'll go to the curse room. Nine lives makes us guppy, and that should be a win. We'll keep rolling with Guppy's head. It's still a pretty damn good item. Okay, two regular chests. A lot of bombs for that. Still looking for our shop. Still looking for our item. Oh, no, we got our item room. No, that was a, um... A library, not an item room. Champion zombie giant. We'll take both. We'll take PhD. You want to take one, two cents for five cents? That sounds like a deal. Two range up pills. And I think they were different colors, so I think that was a range up and range down officially. Okay. Are we gonna do boss fight? Yeah, or boss rush? Yeah. I don't see why we went in at this point. <laughs> okay, and this should be our mom fight. Ooh. That's where contract from below comes in handy. Double battery charges. This is Red Mom, it looks like. Could be wrong, though. But I'm pretty sure it is, given the speed this girl's coming down with. Ooh, got a hit. We'll, of course, take the negative, because that's the only thing we've unlocked. Deal with the Devil is a Krampus fight. Which is actually pretty fine, considering the fact that we do have... Ooh, BBF with the kill. Um, considering the fact that we do have... Um, goat head. Okay, pink and shears. Gemini. Dark bum. Or the leech. Okay, so two of these are utterly useless. We're gonna take Gemini. Pinky shears. Actually, we take pinky shears. Here's why. Pink and shears is a pretty offensive item. Well, not usable every turn. The ability to have multiple little heads running around is useful. And I think this means, because we fought a champion version of Mom, we have champions of everything. You know, aggro? Oh, I walked right into Loki. Come on, aggro. We're gonna get the flies, I think. Pin. Pins. And, oh, I got pin and frail. Why didn't I take Dark Bum if Dark Bum is so good? Well, I'll give you one reason and one reason alone. This challenge has no red hearts. Dark Bum, unfortunately, in this challenge is a fool's gambit just doesn't make sense to take it at all. As good as Dark Bum is. 
there are situations like this one where he kind of uses loses all usability. All right, Dark Horn, Little Horn, whatever your name is, I let you live for too long. Meet the Fly Army. Don't know if Gate can hurt us. Uh, the answer is yes, apparently. By not even trying to land on us, he can hit us just by going down. It's a bunch of BS, but whatever. Turdlings are almost dead. There's one left running around. There you are. Damn, this Gemini has some long range. Peep in the Forsaken. Come on, Forsaken. Alright, Peep, you gotta die. You gotta. Alright, Peep is dead. Carrion Queen must die. Quick. Before it starts laying down all the poops. Oh, you know what? This Carrion Queen might not have, because this was a, uh, champion. Is that the Widow or the Wicked? Eh, it doesn't matter. It's dead. That's what it is. Chubb and Gurglings. Chubb, not the least bit terrifying. Especially not slow Chubb. Alright. Dingle and Chad. Okay. Excuse me. The husk and bloat. Oh, got me. Bloat size. Oh, come on. So much damage on that attack, or that battle. Uh, the Gate and Mask of Infamy. Let's not die. Even if we do have 10 lives, we really don't want to go through that. Of course, I say that and I get hit immediately. We have Uriel, the angel in blue, and Mega Fatty. Yep, Mega Fatty. Hello, Mega Fatty. Oh my goodness! This is the second time in a row he's gotten me with that. Oh, and that was stupid because I was busy rearranging my uh, stuff, my setup here. Who else is this? Oh. Hello, Fallen. Now there's two of you. Alright. And I do have Euphoria. I gotta remember that. As I quickly change directions. Alright, Luckfoot is pretty good. Doesn't give me anything, unfortunately. How did I enter? This way? Yeah. We still have the pinky shears. Pretty good item, but it's not worth it when I can already fly. And I'm guppy. I need the extra flies. Alright. I wish I had mapping. But I don't. So. 
<laughs> yeah, HP, thank you. Alright. Pretty good room there. I can fly, so this means nothing. Wrong way, so I have to go through the big room. That's always fun to see. Whoa, don't get hit. I don't know. I think my computer is still running slow, and I apologize if it is. Um, I don't know why that is. It shouldn't be because it was running just fine earlier. I was playing Factorio, and it was running perfectly fine. This is the same setup I've always used recording, so I don't know. Hello, ferret. Over here, maybe? I don't know. Getting a nice fly army, gurgling. Broken remote. Yeah, I can't, you can't make me take that right now. Not when we're this close to having a challenge done. I don't even think in the beginning. Self-sacrifice room. I could go to the dark room if I had HP or want to kill myself like nine times. I don't. And I don't. So I'm not worried. If I had brimstone, I would. I don't. I have little brimstone, which is close. Oh. Curse room, I would like to go in, but I cannot afford to. I just can't. There's two. There's a third. No, just two. That was odd. Really? Oh, I wasn't paying attention. I got a text message at like the worst possible time. Infested. You should just give me money. I was hoping for spirit hearts, but... So, what am I hoping? Not to get hit ten times. Hello, Loki. Oof. We take H... Oh, that was a bad idea. Ah, that's actually a pretty good idea. <laughs> Fear shot. I believe it's still more damage. So that's pretty good. We're gonna go down. Uh, okay, mom fight. I really wish I had mapping right now. Let's very quickly get through. Ooh. Whipworm is pretty good. Means my shots are in the air for less time. We'll take it. Get rid of the louse that was apparently starting to activate, or maybe we got some spiders from those regular chests, but I don't think that can happen. There you are. Oh, come on. The game is adamant about not giving you HP in this challenge, and I don't particularly like it. Gotta be honest with you. Alright. We're going to go this way. It's probably not the right way, but we're going to try. Curse room I would love to get in. More money. No HP. I'm thinking to start this might be the right way or a very, very long dead end. And either way... I'm willing to take it, so, yeah, not the right way, boo, got hit, oh my goodness, okay, well I'm not going back in this room, I'm out, <laughs> you can't make me do it again, 
Okay, curse room shouldn't be next to the secret room. Just because of how the previous room looked like. Alright, come on, die. Bombs could be useful. I don't imagine they would be, but you never know. Okay, you're dead. You're dead. Keys for something I can't really activate and more money is interesting. No, I don't think so. Even if it is head of the keeper at this point. I just don't think it's worth it. Oh, come on. Did you at least clear the room? Yes. Okay. Okay. Eternal heart means at least one more hit. Come on. Come on. Swing my fly into them. Ooh, can't take that one. Really can't take that one now. <laughs> Even though that almost killed me. Alright. I want to try and save my flies, but of course, half of them go for the Duke of Flies. Although, two battery charges is nice. Alright. In here, it lives. Half of the flies are already gone. Or, all the flies are already gone. But then, so is Mom's health. And she's dead. Alright, that was a nice challenge. I know what you're thinking. Go down. Oh no. Oh shit. Hang on. Don't die. Book of Belial. It's useful. We won't be taking it because we're done. Come on. There you are. But that's it. I'd like to thank you all for watching. It's been fun. Let's see what we unlock. Two new pills have appeared. Alright. Well, that's interesting. We'll see what those are. Maybe we find them next time we play. I don't think we will, but you never know. All right. Like, thank you all for watching again, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.